All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have another Minnesota Timberwolves video. Been making these pretty much every single day. Wolves Nation, you guys keep blessing this channel with a lot of love. So I appreciate you guys a lot. I'm going to keep blessing you guys with more videos. So if you're new here, be sure to hit that like button. Drop a comment down below for more Wolves content. As always, hit that subscribe button if you want to see daily Wolves and NBA videos. So Car Anthony Towns today won Western Conference Player of the Week, and uh, he feasted. I mean, he really feasted. I want to talk about a couple of things with the Wolves as they get ready to play the Dallas Mavericks tonight. By the time you guys watch this video, or by the time a lot of you watch this video, hopefully the game is over. Hopefully the video does well. And uh, I, I do anticipate the Wolves winning this game tonight. The, the Mavericks, you know, Luka's dope. Luka's certainly dope. Uh, but they just don't scare me. I don't know. They definitely need another star that isn't named. I, mean, I wouldn't even... Do you even count Kristaps as a star? Like, they just need somebody else. They need more help. But they're in the right direction. But we're not talking maps today. So, Carl Anthony Towns, so far this week, get ready. Because these are, I mean, crazy stats. So, they played three games. 38.3 points. <laughs> 12 rebounds. This guy is averaging 38 and 12. Oh, my goodness. Three assists for a big man that is money. And then 55% from two. And this is what is crazy. He might actually be the best big shooter of all time when it's all said and done. He is shooting 60% from downtown this past week. That is crazy. But the best stat, the best stat of the week, and this will get Wolves fans on their feet, ready to go, licking their chops at the playoffs. The Wolves outscored their opponents, the Spurs, Lakers, Milwaukee, by 59 points in the 94 minutes that Cat played. 59 points. So when taking a look at Cat's stats, ooh, I just clicked on an ad, Sirius XM, that's 10 years too late. Cat's stats on the season so far, obviously he's a huge reason to all their success, but I mean, you know, to just give some love real quick to the rest of the Minnesota Timberwolves who are now the sixth seed in the Western Conference. They're on a four game winning streak. They've won a bunch of games. They've just really been winning, man. And they're like blowing teams out of the water. They're scoring like 130. Like I see the Wolves score 130 and I'm like, oh, damn, like that's it. Not in like a negative way, but like, wow, like, like, damn, you'll see the Wolves put up like 155 against the Spurs or whatever, however many points they had against the Spurs. And it was like, oh my goodness. Like, what are they, the Brooklyn Nets? Are They're like <laughs> what the Brooklyn Nets were hoping they would have with a healthy Harden, KD, and Kyrie. But anyways, Cat on the season is averaging 25 and 10, which is money. Four assists, one steal, 1.1 block, 53 from the field, super efficient, and 41.2 from downtown. So this was from StatMuse Wolves, which is genius idea by StatMuse. Love or hate them, they're all geniuses over there. Bro, 28, or sorry, 25 and 10 and 4 and 1 and 1. He's shooting 41.2 from downtown. There are people in the NBA who only shoot threes. Guys like Duncan Robinson and Cats shooting like 5% ticks better than a guy whose literal only role is to shoot three pointers. This guy, these guys go to practice and just shoot three pointers. Cats doing better. What can this man not do? He's so multifaceted. But anyways, you got a really nice big three in Minnesota. You got D'Angelo Russell just as pure of a point guard as you can possibly get. He's averaging like 19 and 7 on the season. I mean, he's a stud. And I've given him so much love in my videos this past week because the guy just turned 26. Anthony Edwards on his way to becoming a superstar stud. There were people writing, not Wolves fans, but there were people writing this man off after the first half of last year. They're like, he's not averaging 20 plus. Bust, bust button. It's like the that was easy button. Bust button after like 20 games. It's like, what are you doing? Comes back second half of the season, feasts every game he plays. Once this man gets just more consistent, he's very consistent as it is, but once Anthony Edwards kind of gets a couple more years under his belt, I don't even have a ceiling to, to give to you guys. I literally don't have a ceiling to give to you guys. There is a reason. Not only all of the Minnesota staff, like all their coaches, 
all of the fans, every Wolves fan, all the Wolves players, they speak so highly of Anthony Edwards. But this man is getting highly spoken around the league from really talented superstars. They just see something in him. This is a guy who, like, people were complaining this guy doesn't even love basketball last year. Look at him now. Look at him now. Patrick Beverly. As I've mentioned, one of the most underrated moves. But you know what I think is the most underrated part about the Minnesota Timberwolves? And it's not Patrick Beverly, as crazy as it seems. I honestly think it might be home field. I think it honestly might be the target center. Whenever I watch a home game for the Wolves, pretty much for four quarters, the energy is ecstatic. They love it. And to be honest with you, I didn't know too much about the Minnesota Timberwolves heading into the season. I actually do remember making a video about them in the offseason saying, hey, there's something going on in Minnesota. I don't remember where I predicted them. I made a prediction video at the start of the season for you know all 30 teams where they'd fall in the, in the standings. Can't imagine I had the Minnesota Timberwolves as the sixth seed. I was wrong. A lot of other NBA people were wrong as well. But Wolves fans are sitting back. They're thinking, yeah, maybe we're a little ahead of schedule, but th this is what we've been watching. Like... <laughs> Carl Anthony Towns is a stud. D'Lo is a stud. Anthony Edwards is a stud. You also have young studs. Jared Vanderbilt, Jaden McDaniels, Jalen Noel. Like these are players, like all three of those players I just mentioned are huge components, not only right now at such a young age to the Minnesota Timberwolves, who, by the way, lead the ben lead in bench scoring since in the calendar year of 2022, or maybe it's post All-Star break, the Wolves are leading the in bench scoring, which is awesome. But all three of those players I just named, like you go up to a random fan of a different team that isn't the Wolves, they're going to maybe know one of them. They're going to maybe know Jared Vanderbilt. I guarantee you, like most people who even watch basketball have no idea really like much at all about Jalen Noel, who is <laughs> Jaden McDaniel. Like these are young, talented basketball players. Tarian Prince, Nas Reed. I mean, Nas Reed, another young, really potent. There's so much potential. You can't even put a ceiling on any of these guys because you don't even know we don't even know what they're capable of yet they're only just getting started and as the seasons go on they've been getting better and better to prince i love it three and d malik beasley malik beasley one of his most underrated attributes is his defense i mean what i saw the other night it was really talented he was really talented defensively i think he was like a plus 24 he had a bad offensive night but like if you're just box score watching the wolves you're like eh, malik beasley bad game ah. Team high plus 24. I disagree. He had some really good defensive plays. Really strong defensive presence. So Minnesota, they're on the right track. And um, they got to the sixth seed. They got to the sixth seed. The Minnesota Timberwolves are the sixth seed, which is awesome. That's it for today, guys. Hit the like button. Hit that sub button for more Wolves content along with daily NBA content. If you want to say anything down below, I love hearing you guys' opinions, especially new Wolves fans and all the recent Wolves fans that I've gotten this past week. I love hearing your guys' insights down below in the comments. So drop a comment down below and uh, I'll see you guys later.